you guys welcome back it's Slacker here coming to you with episode four of our Kennesaw State rebuild in this episode we're going to start this season with our first game but first I'm going to show you some of the recruits that we're looking at if you watched the last episode you know that Stefan Watts is pretty much the best recruit we have he is three star 442 overall and number 100 at his position of power forward he has 6'7", 187 pounds, so he's kind of short and kind of, I mean, I wouldn't say skinny, but he's not a bigger power forward. He's one of the smaller ones, which makes him nimble, and I like the way he plays. Nadaye is probably our second guy we're after, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to get him. He, he does look like he's looking at other schools right now besides us. Jacobson is the junior that we really, really like. Averaging about 11 points a game, also averaging two steals, shooting 34% from three-pointers. So, Jacobson is definitely on our radar for next year. Again, he is a junior, so next year will be the first year we can fully recruit him. But we're still going to talk to him every week as a junior to try to get him higher up the pole. So, his senior year, he wants to come to Kennesaw State. Walt Mockley's. Macleys from Springfield, Ohio is another junior that we're looking at. He is 6'10 junior center. He is Veninov is one of the guys we played with. We're still going to go after him because he did a pretty good job. He's 6'5. It says he's a shooting guard, but we're probably going to throw him in at small forward. He is 586th overall, 120th in his position. So looking at getting him, I didn't fully like what I saw, but that doesn't mean that's all of how he plays. And I think we could definitely use him in the starting lineup. Bronson is a point guard we're going to try to go after. He is a senior. He's 6'1", so he's pretty tall for the point guard position. Woodard also 6 foot. At the point guard position, he is a senior, so we're hoping to at least get one of these point guards to fill in the need that we have a point guard. We do have four scholarships, I believe, so we have the ability to get a point guard, a forward, and a small forward. I think what we need right now is a point guard, a small forward, and maybe a power forward or something like that. But we're going to try to look through who we have and decide who we want to offer scholarships to. Stefan Wolf was a guy I played with in episode two in the ABL Classic. And he is obviously one of the guys we're trying to go after as well. He has 6'3 point guard, so he's a very, very tall point guard. And I think he'd be very useful if we decide to run the zone. So going into actually recruiting these guys... I'm offering them mostly everyone gets a phone call and we're starting to schedule some visits. We did do the recruiting, which is like five points for the request game tape. And then we make sure that we hit them up with a phone call as well, showing our interest. And then we're going to kind of spread out the scouts and the home visits and stuff like that accordingly to who we want the most first so Watts is obviously going to get those Jacobson can't get those yet because he is a junior however the seniors that we really really want we are definitely going to send scouts their way hi everyone and welcome I'm Greg Gumbel here with my partner Clark Kellogg bringing you the 2k sports season preview show here are the top five teams in the nation as we head into the season. The Kansas Jayhawks come in as the number one ranked team, followed by North Carolina, Memphis, Michigan State, and Louisville. Anything jump out at you from those top five teams, Clark? These are some outstanding teams, Greg. All right, Clark, that about wraps things up. On behalf of State Farm and the crew, I'd like to thank you again for joining us on the 2K Sports Season Preview. We'll see you during the season. So long, everyone. So I like trying to do the season preview. Just because it's it's fun to see what they think is going to happen throughout the year. But it doesn't mean anything really. Also going through our people, Dennis Leak. We are going to redshirt him and keep him around. Tariq Polk is our shooting guard, 72 overall. He's pretty much the only guy on our team that can really shoot threes at a good rate. 
Shimane, um, he's 6'7", so kind of what Watts is. He is a power forward as well. So we're going to try to use him and see how good he is and see if 6'7 for a power forward is going to be tall enough. It probably will be because of the teams we play. But we are starting against Western Kentucky, who has a 77 overall, 81 offense, 70 defense, whereas we are only a 69 overall, total 71 offense, 65 defense. So... This is our first game of the season. Super excited to get started. It is on the hardest difficulty. So depending on how we play, we can adjust it from there. Get ready for college hoops on 2K Sports. The Kennesaw State Owls go up against the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. We should have a good one coming your way today. Is also a fabulous power forward. He's a marvelous athlete and he's usually good for at least a couple of highlight reels per game. Both of them are great competitors. Our starting lineup is a sophomore point guard, a senior shooting guard, a sophomore small forward, and two seniors at the forward positions. Jump. We have actually a couple power forwards playing the four positions. We don't really have a true center in right now, but we're going to see how the how they play and how we can make this team better. Do get the steal off the beginning. Point guard Casey going to the rim. Not able to hit the first free throw. Perfect on the second one, giving him one point. We go up one to zero at the beginning of the game. Finally, Whitaker gets it in. That is Whitaker, the small forward, a sophomore, I believe, gets that. However, our defense is a little lackluster. Right now, 5-5. Five, five. Whitaker going to try again. Going to get another offensive rebound. Whitaker has four offensive rebounds already. Shimade going to miss it, but going to get it back on the steal. Going to miss it again. Going to get an offensive rebound. Finally puts it in. Offensive rebounds everywhere for the Owls. Shimade gonna drill a three. He's not really a three-point shooter, but drills one there. We do have a center in the game now. 7-1. Able to dunk it in. Hilltoppers not giving up. Gonna get an and one here to increase the score. 28-27 with six seconds left in the first quarter or in the first half. Whitaker gonna get an and one himself. Going in to halftime. 29 to 28. The Owls are ahead of the Hilltoppers. Pretty even on the score. Field goal percentage. They are 48. We are 40%. Three pointers are pretty much not there. Whitaker leading the team with Shumate at 10 points each. Both have three to four rebounds. And the second half is underway. Casey going to pass it out to Whitaker. Whitaker going to take a three. Going to miss it. Offensive rebound for Fox. He's going to be able to get it in. Another offensive rebound. Whitaker out to Shimate. Shooting another three. He's going to hit it. Shimate, 15 points in the game. Casey with the steal. Going to get another offensive rebound. Steals everywhere. Offensive rebounds everywhere. Polk with the three. Going to drill it. Nails it five field goals in a row causing the Hilltoppers to call a timeout Up by seven with seven minutes left Shimade going right to the rim. No one's gonna stop him. He has 19 points in the game Polk another one of our main scores gonna get the Pick and roll to Shimate wide open Shimade adding to his point total Beautiful finish by Shimade Hilt Hilltoppers down 59 to 44 after that made three one minute left the owls are bringing in their backup 64 to 48 right now 66 to 52 will be the end total the owls improve to 1 and 0 with their first win of the season shimate 24 points two of three from three don't expect that every day he did get seven rebounds Three steals, 10 of 19, so shooting just over 50%. With the Pontiac game changing performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac game changing performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The Kennesaw State Owl took off on a huge scoring run that all began on this play right here. 
This sparked the run that simply broke the back of the opposition. So Shimate was a player of the game. We did pretty decent overall. We did 47.6%. They did 47.9% shooting. We hit some three-pointers, 44% for three-point, whereas the Hilltoppers shot 14%. Assists, they out got us in percent, but the turnovers, they had 10 and we only had three. So the turnovers really making the difference. Also, the offensive rebounds, we had 14 offensive rebounds, really helped us to the victory. Casey had 10 points, Polk had 10 points, Whitaker with 14 and five rebounds, and Shimate leading the scoring with 24 points and seven rebounds with three steals. So a big day for Kennesaw State. They did pretty well. I, I like the way the team is kind of balanced. I think our center position we're going to have to play around with. Fox started out at center, but he's really a power forward. We also brought in the center, uh, Makaniv Makanivish. I don't know how to explain his name. However, he had seven rebounds. So I think we're kind of move Fox in and out with the other center to see how well the team looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the first game and our first win of the season. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the other episodes. Till next time, Slacker out.